91 years old when he when he passed and he was 81 when he stopped working so I'm, I'm always going to do something um, it's like you know well, what do I do now uh, old Dale says you go out and you find another job you go out and you do this so that's the kind of uh, upbringing I had uh, they offered a two-year degree you could either start looking for a job or take a two-year degree since I came right out of high school and went into an apprenticeship I said, I've never been to college, so why not get two years of college? So I took advantage of the two years degree. I got a, a degree in human services at Ivy Tech. And uh, that kind of changed the course of my life because I got more involved in community as a result of that. So I kind of attribute what I'm doing now, where I am, to Board Warner closing, giving me two years of college, me finding out about human services and community service, and then getting in that area. Could you go more into, into what you've been doing with the community since, since then? Oh, as a result of that, I came out of uh, uh, Ivy Tech with, a, uh, again, a degree in human services, uh, got involved in some internships with reentry programs into the community, um, and then became uh, president of our neighborhood association. Uh, since that time, our neighborhood association, widely, I'm very proud to say, has won two uh, national awards for neighborhood of the year. We're going to Palm Springs, uh, California this year as a finalist for Neighborhood of the Year for a third, uh, a third time. Um, we've got community engagement programs with Ball State and uh, Ivy Tech. I uh, was actually named Ivy Tech Distinguished Alumni of the Year uh, this past year and uh, became precinct committeeman in our precinct and I'm running for city council. So all of this probably would not have happened had the plant not closed and I took advantage of that opportunity. A lot of guys didn't go to school, a lot of guys just didn't do anything, didn't find a job, but taking advantage of that opportunity kind of set the course. So a lot of uh, who I am is because of Bort Warner. That's so cool. they'll probably be a part of whatever I become. That's very cool. Yeah. Um. Oh, it did. My wife, she was working at the Youth Opportunity Center and uh, money wasn't coming in as as lucrative as it was, you know. And so we just had to tighten up, you know, save and, and uh, be careful how we use it. How long did that last? Until, for me, until two, 2000, I believe, uh, 11. Oh, wow, that's a big, that's a big that's gap. That's a big gap. There wasn't nobody hiring. Mm -hmm. And then the job they were hiring, we, we purchased a house. And uh, during that time uh, that I got hired in 86, that it wasn't paying that type of bill. If, you know, they were paying like uh, every two weeks, you know, and the cost of living. And, and what they were paying was seven, nine dollars an hour. Oh, my goodness, you couldn't live off of that. And we hang out. We got carried away a lot, but we had good times. A lot of memories, uh, no doubt about it. Uh, a lot of memories, a lot of friends. Now I don't even see anybody. My job, I don't bowl anymore. I hardly don't golf anymore. So I feel like uh, the only time I have a reunion is when I go to Walmart. They don't run into everybody at Walmart. I see more people there than I do family members, you know, so. <laughs> see, I think a lot of people have said that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I thought the only time I ran across to anybody, a lot of people moved out of town, moved away, had to. And myself, I got to drive 74 miles just to go, just to go to work. I choose to stay in Muncie because it is home. And my parents are here. My son, my daughter's here. Two weddings this year. Both of them are getting married this year. Uh, one April 26th, my son's getting married, and October 19th, is my daughter's getting married, so this is a big year for us. No, I, you know, I miss everybody I worked with. We had good people. Uh, of course, I miss all of our events, and I miss having a life. <laughs> you know, at least I had a set schedule, you know, 7.30 to 3.30. I don't have that now. I don't have any kind of hours at the railroad. It's, you're on call 24-7, you know, so even though I worked everything they throwed at me at the Borg Warner, but 
I didn't have to work it. Mm -hmm. And I had my vacations whenever I wanted, you know, so. I just dismiss everybody, so hi everybody. <laughs>